Now I have the honor to present our first keynote speaker of today, Minister for Employment, Dula Hartainen. Um, Minister Hartainen is a prime example of the award-winning Finnish education system, holding both a degree in social sciences and a professional degree as a nurse. Um, you've had broad experience from various ministerial positions, from Minister of Education in two governments, Minister of Social Affairs and Health, and now Minister for Employment. You've also been a deputy mayor to the, of the city of Helsinki, active member in a number of parliamentary committees, which I lost track when trying to count them. Um, so very warm welcome here to tell us how Finland is going to be made the best place to live and work. Welcome. Sehr geehrte Gäste, meine Damen und Herren, dear Ambassador, dear listeners, it is really a great honor to be here with you today discussing what we could do together to increase the already intensive cooperation between Finland and Germany and do it even further. Our relationship between Finland and Germany is on good and uh, well-functioning basis uh, politically and also in business. The visit of our Prime Minister Sanna Marin together with, with Prime Minister Magdalena Andersson from Sweden, the visit in Germany shows and it also underlines uh, the importance of good relationship and shared values in European Union. We all know that uh, good cooperation, especially during crisis, is important. This uh, Russia's horrible attack on uh, Ukraine has a response, as a response brought Europe closer together than even ever before. This is something that will also help us to build a better and safer future together. In Finland, uh, slowing down climate, uh, climate change, uh, maintaining sustainable economy, while at the same time safeguarding the welfare state, call for not only increasing the level of education and training, but also more active labor migration. For this reason, we have decided to increase our policy efforts to make Finland internationally more competitive and attractive place <clears throat> to learn, to work, to run a business, and first and foremost, to live a decent and happy life here in Finland. Dear friends, our government aims at least double the current volume of work-based immigration and uh, to triple the number of new foreign degree students by 2030. Our roadmap on education and work-based immigration aims at providing skilled workers and their families a successful migration experience, as well as a good and well-functioning everyday life as equal and active members of Finnish society. For employers, Finland facilitates uh, access to international talent. Development of, of employer services aims at lowering the threshold for hiring an international talent. Custom-oriented service design will be extended to administrative processes, matchmaking, business development and uh, practical guidance, among other things. We are However, not alone with our thoughts. We have to acknowledge uh, that Finland competes with the rest of the world for the best talent. And the competition over skills is fierce. We are aware that in order to succeed, Finland needs substantially more competitive advantages compared to career-wise better known destinations such as the Anglo-Saxon countries. Ladies and gentlemen, accelerating the residence uh, permit process uh, for applications based on work or studies 
will promote Finland's success in global competition for talent. It will also promote investments in Finland and have a positive impact on the internationalization of businesses and innovations. The goal is to reach an average process in time of one month for all residence permit applications based on work and studies uh, and two weeks processing time for specialists, growth entrepreneurs and their family members. The one month processing time is to be reached by the end of current government term. The two weeks fast track, so-called fast track for specialists, uh, growth entrepreneurs and their family members will be ready this summer. In addition, new legislation extends the duration of the residence permit for students for the whole duration of their studies. Job searching permit for graduated students has been extended to two years. Also extending the national long-term D visa uh, to students is under evaluation. This would allow the person who has received residence permit to travel to Finland already before the actual residence permit card. Moreover, besides safeguarding fluent service paths for international talent and employers, we have to pay attention uh, to attracting international employees and their families to stay here. I'd like also to e emphasize that uh, diversity and uh, non-discrimination in working life and in Finnish society in general are, are, are of course of critical importance for the employment of immigrants and for Finland's ability to attract skilled labor international students and investments. It really worries me that while shortage of skilled labor is an obstacle to growth in many sectors and areas, at the same time, unfortunately, studies show that immigrants often face discrimination in the labor market. This is an issue that must be tackled powerfully. An open and non-discriminatory workplace should be in everyone's interest. The Working Life Diversity Program, which is part of our government program, highlights the benefits of diversity and offers practical tools for the management of more diverse work communities. Improving the employer image and uh, workplace uh, diversity a concrete means that help attract and recruit experts and enhance their commitment to the work community. Furthermore, dear friends, promoting labor migration also requires effective measures to combat exploitation. It is self-evident that we have a policy of zero tolerance for exploitation of foreign workers. The amendments made to the legislation already prevent exploitation of uh, foreign labor and improve the legal status of victims of uh, exploitation. Preventing problems also requires more information on exploitation-related phenomena and investments in the resources and cooperation between authorities. Dear friends, as I have noted before, Finland aims significantly increase the immigration of skilled workforce and, and students. In addition to what has already been said, strengthening Finland's country brand among international talent and their families, as well as supporting their settlement and willingness to stay here is, of course, necessary. In international comparisons, uh, Finland performs well in areas such as the business environment, education, and uh, country's stability. And Finland has been named the happiest nation in the world for several years in a row. It is true that uh, Finnish working life has many strengths. Safety, cleanliness, 
equality, the education and training system, good working conditions and work-life balance, positive attitudes to children, access to nature and availability of English language services, etc. So Finland has all the prerequisites to compete for talent, uh, despite its remote location and cold weather and rare language. Thus far, Finland has not been able to su sufficiently utilize its societal strengths and attractiveness factors in attracting foreign workers. And uh, I think this is too something that we have to improve. While we aim to attract more international talents to Finland, we must also pay attention to the services and opportunities available for the spouses and, and uh, families. Uh, there are initiatives su such as uh, a spouser programs, which aim supporting access of international talents partners to Finnish working life. Uh, however, there is still need to improve the availability of, uh, for example, English daycare centers and schools, especially in the biggest cities, also outside Helsinki. This is what I have been talking with Miriam uh, recently. Ladies and gentlemen, in terms of setting targets and milestones to education-based and work-based immigration, and uh, this I can say without exaggeration, uh, these past few years have been part particular. COVID-19 global pandemic was a major disruption to international mobility. The pandemic wa was followed then with this Russia's military action in, in Ukraine. Uh, in general, uh, when seeking to attract international talent, Finland's uh, main message relate to our country's stability, security, and well-functioning society. Because of the changed situation, it is important to force the Finland's country image and attraction in this new situation. I'm sure that our security policy decisions have an impact on our country image. As you may know, Russia and Ukraine have both been important target countries for Finland in international talent attraction. Due to the war in Ukraine, Finland has frozen its efforts to attract talent from Russia, along with its uh, higher education and research cooperation with Russia. The current state of affairs has required swift retargeting of of marketing and recruitment efforts. However, and most importantly, we have been doing our best to make sure that those who are fleeing from Ukraine and coming to Finland can settle into everyday life and access working life and services of our society as quickly as possible. Finally, Making Finland the best place to work requires efforts and long-term commitment across administrative sectors, regions, cities, municipalities, businesses and higher education institutions. Among other things, we need ongoing and we need constructive dialogue between the government and the business life. So this is also something that I hope Everyone here today will strive to influence in the near future. So with these words, I wish you a successful day and, and uh, event here in Espo. Thank you. Thank you, Minister.